There, that's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. That bell might be able to get the walkers' attention. They do like to follow sound. Climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Louis, I vote Louis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. Okay, Prince Charming, let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! See if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. Job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming.
Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. I don't have to. What do you want? I just want food. Same reason you're here. You and your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already, and organized some effort to get inside. Just passing through. Decided to see what we could scavenge. Uh-huh. And you just got extra lucky. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group. Count you plus the two outside, I'm thinking... Maybe more? You ask too many questions. I don't like it. Fine. We can play it like that. If you want. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my Mary. You understand? Agent, get down! <laughs> to me, I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A Sim! Mitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. Lewis and Violet helped too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our rabbit traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. They took a chunk out of him. It was awesome! Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. 
I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible! Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God. Nothing's easy. It was risky, but it was worth it. Like you said, we can't lose another kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did say that. <laughs> well... At least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Are you kidding me? Dying is the scariest thing there is. When you die, you turn into a monster. Maybe. All I know is that if Minnie were here, she'd tell them to quit the theatrics. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess that doesn't scare me because... I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can, can I be there? Sure. You wanna be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Night. See you tomorrow. Time to 
Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. I got to kill fish. Violet looked like she was having a good time. It's nice, not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice, too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it, now that I'm used to it. I do. I really do. It's good to feel safe somewhere. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. There, that's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good, too. Oh, I know. So used to lugging this everywhere. Never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. That's cool. I know, right? Like, really cool. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> Good work. And thanks. There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, 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 not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. Sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. entrance to the basement around here.
you are going to ask about television. I'm not. No, you are. You are. Uh -huh. doesn't concern you. The man you met at the station, we got history. Rhodey! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Let her speak, asshole. <laughs> Excuse me? I want to hear what she has to say. How do you know that guy? Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. Rhodey! I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everybody. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed Shit. of what- Shut up! Ah!
there's a gap. If I could find something really thin, I could force it in there and lift up the latch. I can't find anything in this dark. Yes, flashlight. That'll help. out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? Or me? Your friend? She did.
can help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. Man, this is fucked up. You have to believe me. You don't! You met her like two days ago! I don't know you, Clem. Not really. I'm sorry. I guess you never will. Don't let her get in your head. Hey, what we really want you to do. She was my friend, too. So was brother. Clem, I... Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. If you were there that day those raiders came? He would have abandoned you two! Violet being difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun, now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Marlon. Be reasonable. You don't get it. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! All of you! He's lying to you. He can't or won't protect you. Look what happened to Brooke. To Sophie, Minerva. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth. I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. If they came back, I'd do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expendable. They told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. A real leader would have sacrificed himself. I wanted to get them... ...stakes, some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was... I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. into the basement until we can figure out what to do with you. Fine. Fine. You win. I can't. Thank <laughs> you. 